Welcome back. It is day four of a 30 day journey for mental health advocate Joey Kinsley. Better known by his social media name Sir Yacht, he hopes to raise awareness and money for the grassroots mental health organization NAMI or National Alliance on Mental Illness. Today he drove from St. Paul and reached here near the top of this hour. The next stop is Bismarck, North Dakota. I asked him if there is a ripple effect he hopes to achieve even after raising $50,000 and he's hopeful that more conversations and even legislation will follow. When you initially pass by your neighbors and loved ones, it's not always obvious if their mental health is in good standing. Sometimes they may not tell you the internal battle they are dealing with. Joey Kinsley is one of those people that has stood on the outside of that conflict, but one time too many it resulted in saying goodbye to someone too soon. While Kinsley usually prioritizes views in his work, this time he's looking at moving larger mountains. This is like one of the first projects where I'm not really caring about that. Like, if it gets views, great. Like, if it does well, great. I want to raise $50,000. I want to really make an impact. There are a lot of people that I know. There are a lot of people out there that are hurting. There are a lot of people going through mental health problems. If that's legislation, if that's things like that, like, I'm excited to see what happens with that in the future. I'm going to all 50 U.S. capitals in 30 days to raise $50,000 for mental health. You mentioned kind of hitting some different regions, whether it's smaller capital, bigger capital. Did you ever kind of think of that and seeing that you're speaking with so many different people with different backgrounds, but all with the same message of supporting mental health and raising awareness? It was cool about the 50 capitals. You have places like Atlanta, Phoenix, Denver, you know, they're big. But then you have places like Montpelier in Vermont and that has 7,500 people, like Pierre. In South Dakota, that has 12,000 people. And I was just in Frankfurt, 28,000 people. Like, it's just this big capital building and then ha small houses around, and that's it. And I think you can have a smaller, like, like you can have a uh, more of a footprint, more of an impact on, like, these capitals. And um, I'm excited to get out to South Dakota and do a bunch of South Dakota things. And uh, I, I think a lot of uh, being in the Midwest, spending some time in North Dakota, spending some time, you know, all over, I think, obviously, people can – think that the Midwest are just a bunch of flyover states. There's nothing there. There's just corn and soybeans and wheat. And that's it. And uh, I think that's a very easy thing to say if you don't go to the places. So I'm excited about experiencing these things because I know it's not true at being in the Midwest, um, but I'm excited to firsthand experience going into South Dakota and proving that all of that is just incorrect. Like there's just nothing but, you know, great people in the Midwest. Going on these trips, going across the country and just stumbling upon random people, there are going to be people that, you know, they're just from different walks of life than you. Different isn't bad. Different is good. It's cool to learn about different cultures, cool to live from, uh, learn about different people um, from different areas, from different ethnicities, from different um, genders, races, walks of life. Kinsley's road trip for this weekend includes stops in Helena, Montana and Olympia, Washington. He's looking forward to Monday's stop in Juneau, Alaska, and then Thursday when he's in Honolulu.